Old Dominion University and Children's Hospital of the King's Daughters have teamed up to develop a virtual reality tool that's helping kids with chest deformities. And your side, Stephanie Harris is in our newsroom to show us how and who it's helping. Well, Tom, we are all more likely to do something that we don't necessarily want to do if we see that it's giving us some positive results, right? Well, that is what this new technology does. It shows kids and parents the progress they're making with one treatment so they can hopefully avoid surgery. It's like a colorful map that encourages young patients to do this. And you just pump it up. This is called a vacuum bell. 15-year-old Dylan Thiessen wears it two hours, twice a day, per doctor's orders. A suction cup pulls the chest wall out, just like in a body shop, a suction cup can pop a dent out of a car. But unlike a car, a kid can resist wearing it. Honestly, I wasn't really convinced that it was bringing out my chest that much. 15-year-old Dylan Thiessen was convinced he'd need surgery. But then he came into Children's Hospital the King's Daughters and got a scan. It's sort of like a contour map, like you would see on a, on, on a um, map of a geographic region. Rick McKenzie's team at Old Dominion University developed the 3D virtual reality tool that precisely measures the patient's chest. Before, we had to use a, a ruler and a dowel to see how deep the depression was. This is much more accurate and encouraging for patients and parents. I very much liked that scientific overlay and being able to see, okay, here's you know, it was 24 millimeters originally, and now it's down to nine or whatever the numbers are. It really made me realize that there's a very good possibility that I don't have to do the surgery, which was awesome. Now he sees his progress every time he visits the doctor, and we are working on um, a home version of of this that uh, that they'll be able to take home. So you're giving away all our tricks here. <laughs> and that can mean motivation for hundreds of kids across the country. Now one in every 400 kids will be diagnosed with a sunken chest. That's about 200,000 a year. The technology can also be used to track progress in patients with a protruding chest. About one in 400 is diagnosed with that condition every year as well. Stephanie Harris, 10 on your side.